European stocks rose Tuesday, with oil and gas issues pacing the advance following well-received results from BPPLZ, while better-than-expected Spanish growth figures and a decent Italian bond auction lifted euro against the dollar. Mid-morning, the benchmark stock's 600 index was up 0.6% at 271.14. The U.K.FFTSE 100 index was up 0.8% at 5,840.58. Germany's DAX was 0.9% firmer at 7,270.53 and France's CAC 40 was 1% higher at 3,441.98. Oil and gas stocks rallied, with the stocks Europe 600 index for the sector up 1.9% after BP posted clean replacement cost. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Profit of $5.17 billion for the third quarter compared with expectations of $4.09 billion. Investors also welcomed the 12.5% hike in the dividend. BP shares rose 5.2%. A couple of other bright spots on the corporate front also helped to keep equity markets buoyant. UBS AG UBS gained 5.6% after the company announced plans for a complete overhaul of its investment banking arm. The bank said it plans to wind down its fixed income business and cut thousands of jobs in London and the US elsewhere. Deutsche Bank AG Decibels added 4% after posting big gains in its thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Investment Banking Operations Tuesday third quarter net profit rose 3% on the year, beating views. Meanwhile, news that the Spanish economy contracted a little less than expected in the third quarter added to the upbeat tone. Gross domestic product fell 0.3% on the second quarter, compared with the Bank of Spain's estimate last week of a 0.4% contraction. A relatively well-received Italian auction also provided some cheer. Italy sold the maximum targeted 7 billion euros 9.04 billion dollars in 5 and 10 year government bonds. All in all, good demand for both lines, said Newage in a thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Note to clients. Bid flash covers for Italian auctions are never too high and today's outcome was in line with the average, it added. The euro tipped higher against the greenback and by mid-morning was fetching $1.2955 from $1.2904 late Monday in New York. At the same time, Spain's IBEX 35 rose 0.8% to 7,787.3060. Greece's ASE Composite Index added 1.1% to 828.77 and Italy's FTSE MIB gained 0.9% to 15,495.83. Spain's 10-year government bond yield was flat at 5.63%, according to Traduo, while the corresponding yield on Italy's bond was down 0.04 percentage point at thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. 4.96%. Still, it wasn't all good news Tuesday. Data showed that German jobless claims rose 20,000 in October from September twice as much as expected and the seventh straight increase in claims. U.S. stock and derivatives markets will remain closed for a second day due to Hurricane Sandy, and this will likely keep trading volumes in Europe light. So far Tuesday, FTSE 100 trading volume is around 35% below the 20-day moving average, while volume on the Euro stocks 50 is around 35% below the 20-day moving average, according to traders. Mid-morning. Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Front Month Futures contract was down 0.2% at 13,024.00 and the SM Page 500 Equivalent Futures contract was 0.1% lower at 1,406.20. The release of consumer confidence figures has been pushed back to Thursday, November 1st. December NYMEX crude oil futures were up $0.39 at $85.93 a barrel and the December Brent oil contract was up $0.35 at $109.79. Spot gold was up $4.20 at $1,713.70 a troy ounce. The December bond contract was down 16 ticks at 141.54.